Pascal, what's the difference between making a $500 movie versus an $85,000 movie? Exactly the same. Seriously, <laughs> it's just, it, it just goes to different aspects of it, but it was not more complicated because when I do a film, I'm, I'm trying to manage that to do it with a bare minimum. And for example, that film on the horizon, we did it, I did it with 85 grand, but mostly it went for traveling, actors, uh, food, plane ticket and stuff like that. So it goes fast like, like this. So when it's time to do the budget, it's not that complex. So when you do a 585, for me, I'm using exactly the same technique. I use a shot the same way. It was not the, the only thing I had, it was a bigger camera. But other than that, it, it was exactly the same process. Which camera was it? I used the Red Dragon. And uh, I wanted, f why I've used that? Because I was debating. I was like, ah, oh, do I go with the Canon, whatever. And with the Red, because I know that it was going to be chaotic. So many locations outside, traveling all the time. And I know sometime I might miss something. So uh, the fact that with the rock footage, you can fix everything later. So that was a, a, a fail safe a little bit. With On the Horizon, you had it as a short film first, and then you decided to make it as a feature. Um, yeah. Did you notice, aside from you know the longer script, did you notice that there were things that surprised you about lengthening the movie? Like no, for me it was more f first, and I can go in right away. Is that I love doing short films. Short film is about finding your style, finding your signature, and so I had an idea. I wanted to do it, and for example, the short film on the horizon was to, I shot that in like three hours. And it came out amazingly. We shot in the desert and everything. So when I did that, I was in the process of finding my source, my funding for the feature film. And I was searching for like $300,000. It was like, uh, it's a lot of money. So I was like, can I make, when that idea I was just like, can I make that story w of the under eyes and, and just re, because I had a version of the script and can I just reshape everything to make it around 60 grand, 85 grand. And I scaled it down and I was asking favors from people and you know it's kind of a cliche but yeah you ask people favors sponsors and uh, then it worked out and uh, it just sometimes by doing something it clicks an idea and when I did that short film that was the revelation of oh let's screw the 300 let's make it for maybe 60 and I'm sure it's gonna be easier to find investors and it worked. I often hear filmmakers say they want to make something they they don't have the budget and they do it so you know they're they're looking at, at you know million dollar plus how was it for you to come to that decision that if I'm going if I'm going to do this that it has to be this this is all I may get for it and I still want to make it <coughs> yeah but I've been doing this for the past 10 years 15 years and I've always used the same technique I've no th no crew you know I do everything myself sometimes I make up and uh, but mostly like on the horizon was done with me my sound guy and assistant that's it and that, that's a lot of work to do a feature film, three people. So I did everything. I was driving, giving the food. I was just, I've never slept. But by doing, so if you know you can do so much job and you know, you, let's say, you know, I don't need a DP because I know I can shoot beautiful images. So by that, you save money. And then, uh, so if you know you can end a lot of work, that's where you shrink your budget down. And I think it goes with passion, dedication. There's always going to be excuse not to do anything. So that's why for me, I'm just like, stop waiting for money. Stop waiting for anything. You can do, if you have the passion, you're going to create anything you want. You can shoot. It costs nothing to shoot in the desert. It costs nothing to shoot near the ocean. And you have amazing visual. So it's endless where you can shoot. So I think it's just excuse for people who can be lazy sometimes. Right. Um, are you comfortable in saying where you got the funding from? or It's private. Private investor. Yeah, okay, it's private. Great. So. I, because that's the thing, I'm from Montreal, but I don't shoot in Montreal, so I cannot use government money. Grants. And yeah, I cannot use grants and stuff like that. And then when I go to the States, I cannot apply because I'm not American. So I don't have any choice to go into the private funding. So I, w I was lucky. I've certain, you know, people say, oh, where did you find that money? I just ask everyone. And it's, I didn't want to do the Kickstarter thing. You need to have an army to do those things. And I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't have the patience to do that. When I want to shoot something, I want to shoot it now. And uh, so I ask people and people, 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 and there's a thing where you have at least short films, music videos, and you have amazing demo reel. You have a good material to show to people. And you have a business plan. That's what I did. I did a business plan. I have my great demo reel, beautiful website to at least showcase everything. And then it's easier. 
to contact people. So I had one person that loved my work say, oh, I got someone in Texas who uh, can maybe was interested. So I talked to the guy, I showed him my work, business plan, and he said yes. So it's a lot of people's always who you know, but yeah, it's kind of true, you know? But not just that, it was being ready and you already had a body of work yeah, to show exactly. Someone. Yeah, it's going to be impossible if you've never done short film or you just barely start, you don't have a great demo reel and you think you're going to have like $250,000 there's no, I don't know, good luck with that because people work with visual. You need to be able to show, you know, just even for my business plan, it was mostly all pictures. So yes, you have the numbers and everything, but that's for business people, that's important. But at the same time, they want to see that you have your clear vision because that's what they're investing in, you know, a clear vision that, oh, is going to make some money. But uh, so yeah, I, the fact that you have your style, your signature, that you have a body of work, then that's going to be more impressive. And then you, if you, they Google you and you have magazine and uh, interviews, whatever, that you, they see that you've, you've traveled a little bit, it's way more reassuring that you say, hey, I just came out of the school and I hope to get $300,000 $300, because I wrote, a, I wrote a script. Who cares? There's like a million people who does that. So at least a visual to apply to that business plan.